Hello everyone, I am Maester Mike, and I am back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, all was all that was accomplished was just going around Rogueport to finish off the last available quests at the Trouble Center. And it took a, a long time to do, but I fi finally have them all done. Well, at least until I access some more after the end of this next chapter. So in this episode, we're going to finally start out to going to Chapter 4. Where is Chapter 4? Well, I already showed you. It's The entrance to it is right over here. You need... Yoshi, or Mike as I like to call him, to access it. Inside this door, here's a really cool looking pipe to Twilight Town. That's where we need to go, so jump on it, or go down. But we come back up. The pipe rejected you. Well, that sucks. How do we get inside? We can't go inside. We can't go inside the pipe. Sorry, I was just swallowing a little saliva. I know that's gross, but it's just what I was doing because that's why I paused. Yeah, so we can't go in inside the pipe to, uh, Twilight Town, and to Chapter 4, in essence. So what do we do? Well, it may not be too obvious for you at first, maybe, but you remember that little shadow kid named Darkly hiding out in the back alley back on the east side of Rogueport? Well, let's go over there. Quickly, let's go. <clears throat> and I like using Mike. He may not go too fast, but it helps. But it helps. And Regardless, so nice. He's already become my favorite party member to come out to use on the field, and considering that he's a Yoshi, that's a good thing. Yoshi's always one of my favorite characters. I don't care what anyone else says, I will always think that Yoshi is the cutest video game character of all time. I mean, especially this one. I love his little angry eyes, it makes him look so cute. Anyway, ignore that. Here's Darkly. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overall. M-A-R-I-O, right? Don't touch Mario there, that's disgusting! There. Perfect the mundo. I'm at it. I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Mike, baby! Hey! Watch where you're drawing, buddy! I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Why, well, thank you. Now we can go to Twilight Town and get to Chapter 4. If you have any other party member out, they'll say different things. Like, I had Flurry out one time, and... She said a little to the left when she, when he was drawing on her, which is really gross and wrong. I don't know what Coops or Goombella says, but yeah. Flurry says what she says is really gross and creepy. Good thing you didn't have to see that. So anyway, enough rambling. Come on, Mike, let's go. Back to Twilight Town, or to Twilight Town. We've never gone there yet, but now we will. Down the pipe. We fade to white. This is Chapter 4. For pigs, the bell tolls. True Shakespeare. That is a Shakespeare line, right? Well, look at this. Another really pretty artistic looking town. Not probably not as cool as Bogley Woods, but it still looks pretty neat. Ah, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me! Oh gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and scary to tell too. Bells, what's that? Oh no, the bell ring again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Why, it's you, sir! And he just turned into a pig. Whoa! That was the craziest thing I've ever seen! What's going on in this weirdo town? 
Oh, badness. Now poor Fred, he got turned into a pig. Not good. Hello, old man. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Doer, or Dower. I don't know how to pronounce my own name. I apologize. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come. Come to my home. Alright, let's go. And this is Twilight Town, obviously. I'm saying that because that... the name just popped up in the corner. What do you have to say for us, Doer? My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa! Cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Stable. The dark creature who lives there is cursed ordains that when the stable bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become a swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried, I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. This keeps up... well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it? It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Ugh. I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star! Gotta be! Oh, you, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. Well, it's thinkable now. I'm sorry, Doer. We're gonna have to go. My, my family and friends have been turned into pigs. It's not a good thing. This is the village where we were, where we all were born. After all, we can't just leave. Quite a strange mystery going on. For some reason, I'm thinking of like Professor. Ooh, star piece. I always seem to run into those. I never even meaning to find them, but I just happen to find them. That's a good thing, though. But it's just weird. Here's some crows. Knocking the tree won't do anything. But you can walk up to it and talk. I'm gonna let them do the talking. So let's see these bushes. Anything in here? So yeah. This kind of makes... This mystery, for some reason, makes me think of, uh... Something out of a Professor Layton game. I know that having creatures turn into... I mean, humans turn into pigs might be a little too far-fetched even for Professor Layton. Here's another star piece. But it just seems like some sort of mystery that he would be capable of solving. Just how I think of it. Anything on the tree? No. <clears throat> Will it feel weird to turn into a pig? Do pigs feel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. <clears throat> What's in this place? Hello, you. Living in this dark place. So depressing, you know. I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Well, I think I would. <clears throat> you know, I wonder what would be worse. This kind of curse that... All this stuff that's... Hello, crows. Well, see how, like, when something... When a bell rings that something bad happens. I wonder what would be worse. This or the curse... Or, like... Kind of makes me think of like Resident Evil 4, where the where the villagers are, where they uh they get drawn to the church when they hear the bell ring at the beginning of the game. Kind of makes me think of that. Although I wonder what would be worse. Probably that. But this could be a close second. Moink, bloink, boink, quink, oink. They all say different versions of oink. It's kind of funny actually. Let's check around here. The crows have nothing to say find here, there's another star piece! Yay! Yes, I'm a novelist, and I read several books a day. Not all pop-up books, either. 
I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. Well, you should be. I've been thinking lately. If I'm gonna turn into a pig, I wanna be a big ol' fat one. Cause what's the point of being a skinny pig, right? Gotta embrace the pigginess. It's a weird request, but... I guess there's nothing wrong with that, because pigs are supposed to be fat. Nothing in here, just... Empty house. Here's a store. Oh yeah, I forgot about something. I probably should store these items, because I played a little bit ahead myself, and there are some items back behind that locked door. Loink, loink. Oh, a customer. I'm so... I'm sorry. We're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. Sad. And if you couldn't tell, Mario had a surprise look on his face, but he's being blocked by that woman. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I called him a chauvinist pig. Perfect perfect timing for that, since you, you called him a pig, and now he is a pig. Now you got... And I'm not skipping that. That's going, going very fast. I'm not going to read that. Unless I slow this down, and read it, and make my voice whole high-pitched to make it read it. Readable. Whatever. So, um, are you even listening? So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in the storeroom that might help, you know. But unfortunately, the storeroom is locked. She said that if her husband may have lost the key in the woods, so we'll look that way. I think I'm gonna bring out Goombella just for the heck of it, so she can tattle on things. Who knew being ta a tattletale could be such a good deal? Anyway, here's some creepy people. Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. It's almost kind of a bit tragic, if you think about it. They're su they're starving. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, could you share it with us? It's kind of dark for a Mario game. I mean, they're they're actually starving. Just give her a mushroom. Oh, thank you so much. You made my children very happy, and me as well. Not much, but please take this as thanks. Shooting star. Drops shooting stars on all enemies and confuses them. That is a good prize. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? Hello. Ignoa. That. Moink, moink. Hey, are pigs good eating? You don't eat your mother. Mommy, you're a piggy. Hey, fix my mommy. That's pretty dark and depressing if for a Mario game. As I've been saying again and again, they're actually suffering from starvation for a little bit. That's not something you hear er very often in these games. In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. It can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. Just don't eat your own fellow villagers. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. Do you still want to go through even after hearing that? You need the mayor's permission. Ha! We heard that one before. Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever, gate guy. Let's go, ask Mario. Alright. Let's just hurry on over. Hello? The bell's ringing again. Oh, the bell ring, Mario. That means someone's gonna... Phew, at least it's not me this time. Does it only affect people who naturally... Do actually live here, or can it affect anyone? I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Things are already starting to... So much intrigue already. Oh no! The mayor turned into a pig! Hey, you don't think this pig is the mayor, do you? What do we do now, huh? We can't get his permission to pass through the gate! You know, Goombella always seems to have a habit of saying the, saying the exact same thing that I just said a few seconds ago. Why does she ha do that? Alright, let's save this. We're not going to have to watch any more of these cutscenes. Again? That was fast. Look at that. The bell rang, and now the gatekeeper's a pig. And I'm pre- She's obviously gonna say the exact same thing I just said. Huh? The gatekeeper's gone. No, not gone. He turned into a pig. Stop repeating my words, Goombella. 
You're getting annoying. No, you're not, but it's just bugging me that you keep doing that. Or that I keep doing that. I don't know who's to blame, really. Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. All right. The gate easily opens for us. Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's some, could be something in the shed. What is it? A black key? Oh, that seems suspicious. What could that be for? We've seen two black keys before. Could that? Could they be linked together? Well, we'll just see. Nothing in that box. Or in that tree. Let's move onward. A green Goomba, watch out! No, you die. No, you die. Gotcha. Uh, here's some new enemies. How many titles do I have? I'll check soon. Stylish! Please tattle on them. That's a Hyper Goomba. And time it stylish. That's a Hyper Goomba, which means, um, it's a hyperactive Goomba. Duh! Nice HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. But if this nut, but if this nut goes bizow and charges up, his attack power will be 8 next turn. So you better wipe it out between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, then run away, okay? That's pretty dangerous. So yeah, you better, you better get rid of these guys fast. I'll go power bounce on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and he's dead. That was good. Uh oh, powering up. This guy is simply just attacking, but we dodged. Get him, Goombella! These battles will be a lot longer very quickly, so... There will be new enemies, don't worry, but... Stylish. But I think I may speed some of this up. I did some of this off-screen myself, and it took quite a while to get these all dead. You know, I... I'm kind of wondering if I should not... if I should call this a blind Let's Play, because... I actually... This isn't totally completely blind, because I do know all the characters that you get in the game. I do know some story elements and what happens. I've seen some bits and pieces of it. I don't know all of it, but... And I keep accidentally spoiling it by myself, by playing ahead on my own. So, kind of... Kind of not really blind. Even though this is just... This is sort of blind, but... I'm not doing it the way that you should be doing a blind run. Alright, first, here's some new enemies. The Hyper Para Goomba. I'm gonna tell on these guys, and then I'm gonna multi-bounce them, so they'll all be just regular Goombas. That's a Hyper Para Goomba. It's basically just a Hyper Goomba with wings. Max HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. After charging up, you'll be dealing with moves that have an attack power of 8. Once you damage it, it'll lose its wings and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's at all that cool. Even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Let's multi-bounce them. I seem to burp so many times in these videos. What's wrong with me? Oh. And here's one of the features of... He just... He just used an item that turns them invisible. Watch out! Aha! And I used my special B dodge. Yeah, and this fog, this is one of the special features of this new stage that we got. This new stage that we got once we got to level 10, well, it has these little effects on it, like this fog, which will make it hard for you to hit some enemies, which is bad. I'm gonna take out some of these enemies with Earth Tremor. Yeah, Earth Tremor would be easy enough. Some of these effects, like this fog, get really annoying. I've seen it before. It's happened before, so yeah. I got a little stunned there because, well, for some reason, I just heard no sound. Well, forget it. Just play this and just get rid of these enemies. If it'll hit them. Yes, it will hit them. I always like looking at them fly up like that. And they're dead. Six star points. We're getting somewhat close to a level up. What's my level? Uh, I'll... I'll get rid of that. I'll use the dried shroom on Goombella. So that she'll survive one part of health. Come on, stop it. And I'll get this back. I need that. And now, let's just keep going. I like those effects when you break the blocks. Die, you! Here's a hyper spiked Goomba. Pretty obvious. And 
street. Die, booey ha ha! Booey ha ha! Let's do a super hammer! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, booey ya! Why did it not do that? Alright, cattle on them! Hey hey! That's a hyper psyche Goomba! Is a hyper Goomba with a spike on its head! Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. After charging up, its attack power rises to an incredible level of 9. That's scary! Beat it before it attacks, or you'll be in peril before you know it. Seriously! If only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Uh-oh. He's doing it! Uh-oh. Oh, wait. He's using that. That's not fair. Ow! Stop that. No, don't... Whatever. I accidentally hit it to go back. I should try this sometime soon. Excuse me? Uh, I think I will actually change to Flurry. Her, uh, Gale Force attack is really useful. Although this may not work on stronger enemies. Aw, oh, that'll... Crap, that was a waste. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Haha! -ha! I have a special badge that will let me dodge these attacks. Ow. In fact, I should also show what badges that I have equipped, because I changed my badge setup after the last episode. You know, you're not helping. Go to Mike. No! He's doing it! No! He's doing it! Okay, uh... Normal hammer. Take this, you monster. Take that. And I'm doing stylish. Go! I should have used Mini Egg. Ha! That was stylish. Mini Egg can help them reduce their attack power. Uh oh, what's he doing? I'm not sure what that does, really. So, whatever. Yay! Cool. Nine star points! Good prize. I think I'll refrain my. I'll ignore uh, some of my. You... I'll refrain from using some healing items, considering that I'm really close to a level up. Although, I could use this honey syrup to give me some more FP. Nothing really to say. So anyway, let's pick this up, and let's go on. Nothing in the tree. But there's coins in this block. Nothing in that tree, either. There's a pig. Croink! There, there's a better pig sound. Ah, there's a key. I can't get it. There's stupid trees in the way. What do I do? Well, Coops, your turn. Get it. Thank you. Shop key. It opens the door to the door room of the shop. So let's quickly hurry back. Mike, let's go. Quick, man. He's a, yeah, he's my he's easily my favorite party member to use mostly for his for being that fast. And also he's a Yoshi. I don't know if I finished what I was saying that last time, but yeah. Yoshi is one of my favorite characters. Always has been and always will be. Just look at those little angry eyes, he's so cute. So anyway. Let's go. So now that we have this open, let's go inside. Hmm, here's some items. Uh-oh! Black chest! Can only mean one thing. But first, let's get that chest and we get a defense plus. Oh yeah, I was, forgot about the badges. Right. Last episode I rearranged my stuff, so I still have Power Smash, Multi-Bounce, and Quake Hammer, but I also put on Item Hog, which makes items appear better, which gives us a better chance of items appearing. There's Pretty Lucky, when, which makes enemies sometimes miss, and Power Bounce, which I already showed in battle. So yes, here's another one of these! Hold up! Hey! Who's there? I just heard a voice! There's no way that people could be here! Seriously, that's just so unlikely! Huh? What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! I love these guys, they're so awesome. No, 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 I'm not like those chests, I promise! Look at my eyes! Tell me I'm lying! 
I can't see you. Can you see me? I can't see you. You don't have any eyes. I can barely look through that keyhole. I don't see anything. I'm not. Seriously. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go special places. Well, he's... You gotta give him points for being honest. Doesn't that sound nice? Aw, oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's that here somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself, because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty, please? I don't want to. But we have to do it. Oh, thank goodness, you're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Here, take the black key. Wee-hee! Fools! It's that time again. Demon time! What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Uh, yes, I did. I was hoping Teach would be hiding in there. Now I'm going to hit you with the King of Curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed! Ah ha ha ha! I wish he had a better, another curse word like oogly boogly boo. That was a funny thing. <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Favor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful it is. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R, then rotate control stick repeatedly. Alright, hold R, and roll, rotate control stick, and we roll up into this. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? I don't get it. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Press B to return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. Fine. Don't be so mean to me. I leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> and we get another curse. Isn't that something? So, yeah, I think this episode's going on for long enough, don't you think? Yeah, I think so, too. So, in the next episode, we're gonna go look up... Out we're just going to head on forward throughout the forest. And we got an email. I'll check that next episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.